Hey Scorpio, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general tarot reading for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the end of October going into November. Take it how it resonates, leave the rest. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. Cross watchers are welcomed here. If it resonates, do let me know. Show your love and support. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Your bonus extended up on Vimeo for October. How does your person feel? And if you want a personal tower reading the last few days to get that 20% off of my video recorded readings on my website on Etsy. And I also have Etsy message tower readings for a quick turnaround two to four days. All right, Scorpio, let's jump right in. Let's see what we can get for you guys in love. Messages for Scorpio. Let's, what's the biggest challenge you be faced with right now? What is the biggest challenge you guys are facing with uh, right now? Being faced with right now. Messages for Scorpios. Highest and greatest good, please. Ten of Swords and the Empress. So a lot of you, Scorpio, you're trying to see a good in a situation here. You know, you're trying to grow. You're trying to um, move forward, right? The Empress energy. Maybe this is about a new beginning. Some of you guys are opening up the doors to new love. Um, the Empress is growth. It's fertility. It's creativity. It's new beginning. So after an ending that may have felt like it really pushed you back, Ten of Swords, it was devastating. It was traumatic. You're having to now move forward, right? Um, the Empress, you may be attracting a lot of people, Scorpio, um, and that can be the challenge in itself. Maybe you've been in this place of feeling that ten of swords and it's been difficult for you to put yourself out there but if you were to do that the empress there's a lot of growth right there's a lot of magnetic energy people are being attracted to you right they see you you've done the work you're coming across as very desirable and attractive so in the past scorpio let's take a look Seven of Wands came out the tower in a verse with the Emperor. So maybe you went through some kind of really, again, difficult ending. Ten of Swords, the tower. It feels like something happened very suddenly. And it really set you back. It feels like Scorpio, there's an energy, the Seven of Wands in a verse, where someone stopped fighting for this connection. Whether this is you or your person or you guys did it together. It just feels also like maybe someone pushed you away. You may have felt like they were not there for you you know the energy of the seven of wands could be very combative and argumentative or just very um confrontational it could be um someone just very guarded and pushing you away in some regard as well with the emperor i feel like in the past this could be someone that you were dealing with okay the emperor the empress right could be a divine connection could be someone you really thought you were gonna have this life together you were making plans for something big a future family right but the emperor makes you feel like <laughs> After maybe some kind of tower moment, it was really necessary for someone to take the lead, to redirect the connection. Because the emperor is really about bringing back structure of something here, right? Bringing structure, um, taking lead, bringing back control, moving things forward. Give me the current energy, Scorpio, the world. So definitely some kind of big lesson here you may have learned with regard to a situation. We do have the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. You may be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you guys are very different in how you love, how you communicate. Ace of Swords is here. We have the Two of Pentacles in a verse and the Page of Cups. So Scorpio, there could be communication coming through. Ace of Swords is like, finally, let's speak our minds. Let's have a sit down. Let's have this open dialogue. I feel like Scorpio, it is definitely someone here that May have been going back and forth about this. Maybe you've been kind of going back and forth about communication. Maybe there has been some kind of break. I mean, the Page of Cups is here. So maybe someone wants to open up the lines of communication with you. Maybe they want to apologize. For others of you guys, you're seeing the truth in a situation. You're, you're, you're really getting some kind of insight, truth, and you're dropping something. Two pentacles in a verse. This is like... I'm not fiddling and following with this anymore. I'm letting it go, okay? Some of you may also have new love coming in with the Page of Cups after you drop a situation that isn't serving you anymore, right? You know, maybe you've been there, done that, and now there's the energy of this isn't serving me. This isn't providing me with any stability, and therefore I'm letting it go. Page of Cups can definitely be a romantic partner, a new interest, someone you're meeting, and it's very sweet. It's very romantic. It's very loving, right? That Page of Cups energy, Give me the energy of what's happening in the foundation here. Two of Wands in a verse, we have the Devil, the Six of Cups in a verse, and the Nine of Swords. Scorpio, there is someone here that is, um, 
I feel tied to you, okay? There's someone from the past, Six of Cups and the Devil, makes you feel like there is some kind of codependence between the both of you. It feels to me like they're holding on to you for as long as they could. There is some kind of bondage with that devil energy. Doesn't have to be toxic. But the Six of Cups makes me feel like maybe it didn't end on the, the best note, right? It's coming out in a verb. So maybe at one point, you guys were really strong, very, very strong emotional connection, but then it ended on a not so great note. Whoever this person is, I do feel like they're in great distress, okay, about the situation between you and them. Nine of Swords speaks about it's affecting them. It's a, it's, a, it's mental energy. It's overthinking. It's anxiety. It's paranoia. Someone is very much heavily thinking about you um, and them. And they may even feel like maybe they made the wrong decision, right? Two wands. Maybe they took their time in making a decision regarding you. And that could have caused that tower. could have caused a ten of swords. Maybe something ended because they were not willing to fight for you when you were willing to fight for them. So I feel like the two wands in verse could be finally this person's getting out of this indecisive energy. And it could be because they're in this place of stress and conflict, especially if they've lost something like you, right, Scorpio? So... Someone could be apologizing for that, you know, maybe after going back and forth, contemplating, what do I want? They're now saying, okay, I'm willing to drop something. The interesting thing is that we have the two pentacles and the two wands coming out of her. So again, if there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of procrastinating, I don't know what I want. That is not the case anymore. The outcome is the death in reverse. Scorpio energy, the judgment in reverse, and the ace of cups. Wow. So there's definitely love on the horizon for you, Scorpio, whether it's old love, new love. Ace of Cups is a beautiful loving offer. It's a relationship. It's someone finally saying, I want to really open up my heart to you. I want to let you in. I want to be intimate. There's definitely a beautiful romantic connection here. With the death and judgment in a verse, it definitely could be someone here that made a bad decision, bad judgment call about you in the past and now wants to redo it, right? There could be going back, revisiting, reassessing, re doing right the death is in a verse resurrection revival maybe something ended because at the time someone here wasn't ready so the death in a verse and the judgment verse could definitely be something coming back and someone revisiting a decision they've made in order to have a new opportunity with you the ace of cups is here all right let's see let's get some more messages this could be a libra we got scorpio capricorn it could be any sign you guys like share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you are aware when I drop these words. All right, give me the Ten of Swords and the Empress. The Fool in the verse, Aries energy. So the challenge could be like, after this really difficult ending, how can we make this work? How can we thrive? How can we nurture the connection? After maybe someone has done something where there are some trust issues, the fool in the verse, maybe someone is not as willing to move forward as they were before. And so this empress is like telling me that maybe someone has to really work this empress, right? Really have to show this empress that they mean business, that they're willing to maybe honor her and respect her and cherish her. So there's work to be done for sure. This could be an Aries, someone who may have acted foolish, fool in the verse, right? Give me the energy of the past. Again, someone wasn't willing to fight for the connection. I do feel the devil card being here with the two of swords in verse. Someone was putting off making a decision. It feels like there's some temptation here. I mean, the devil could be anything. The devil could be their fears, their own insecurities, right? Their own hangups from their past trauma that kept them from making a decision regarding you. Kept them from maybe stepping up to this emperor-like energy, emperor role, being the provider, being the protector, being the leader. It feels to me with the devil, there's something that got in the way. And this could be addiction. This could be anything. Anything. It doesn't have to be toxic, but it could be. It could be something that just was interfering in their ability to make good decisions and decide on what they wanted with you and how to move forward with you. Especially if Scorpio, you demanded, you know, some kind of movement. The emperor, maybe you didn't demand it some kind of initiation, change, structure. You wanted to know where things were going to go. Give me the current energy. We have definitely some kind of change, the world card here. Ten of Cups in the verse, Five of Pentacles, and a Page of Pentacles in the verse. It does look like there's a situation that is very unhappy. Scorpio, it could be a family home situation. Someone is feeling quite left out in a cold, Five of Pentacles. So for some of you, there could be a home, a family that has been like 
divided and someone got literally removed from the home. I'm seeing the energy where now someone is like really rethinking about what matters to them, right? Their money, their finances, their resources. They're thinking about their investments and the connection. Five of Pentacles can speak about financial insecurities. It can speak about them just feeling alone, deprived of love. It can also talk about health issues and a health scare. With the Page of Pentacles in a verse, you know, Scorpio, you're not there for them, right? You're obviously you're taking back your effort, you know, your energy. You're not putting into them, and they're feeling it. They're feeling the lack. They're very unhappy, unfulfilled, discontent. All right, let's take a look at the Ace of Swords. There's some communication coming out. Knight of Wands in a verse and Eight of Cups in a verse. Scorpio, there could be some communication coming out to you from a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. This could be an individual that has been very, very in and out of your life. Two Pentacles and the Knight of Wands could be definitely someone who was playing around, playing a lot of mind games, being very inconsistent. They may have had other people they were dealing with, very inconsiderate of your time. Eight of Cups is in reverse, so it feels like they're not happy. They're not fulfilled. They could be certainly wanting to return back to you, Scorpio. And the Page of Cups right next to it could definitely be this person apologizing, asking for forgiveness so that they can make their way back into your life, right? Scorpio, if this page of cups is a new energy, if this is someone you're dating, you may be kind of challenged with the two pentacles, right? You may be challenged if maybe you're interested in reconciling or allowing an old person to return back to your life or if you're just wanting to now dedicate to new love. That two pentacles and verse could be literally having to choose and drop someone, right? All right, let's take a look at the energy in your environment. Two wands, the devil. Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So there definitely is some kind of like going back and forth. Two of Pentacles. I feel like your person, Scorpio, is maybe even presenting something to you that you're going to have to think about with the Two of Pentacles. Ace of Wands is here. So this is someone that is prepared to come in strong. They're coming in. They desire you. There's attraction. There's motivation. There's inspiration. Ace of Wands, very, very fiery energy. Someone is coming in really quick. I feel the devil could definitely be that, you know, they've been holding on to this. Again, connection. They, they had no intentions of letting this go. Give me the six of cups and the nine of swords. Four of cups and the death in reverse. So there definitely has been a situation where, you know, either you rejected your person, Scorpio. They rejected you. I don't know what came first. There's the energy of a missed opportunity. The Four of Cups comes with a lot of sadness and disappointment, right? And I even feel like there's some regrets about how they may have treated you, Six of Cups, you being someone they really connected with, had a strong emotional connection with. And now there's the energy of being stressed, deprived of what they could have had with you, deprived of love, missing your energy, missing your love, your loyalty, all those cups here. With the death in the verse, how they see moving forward is maybe even getting over the stress, anxiety, the fears that they have and having a rebirth. The death is in the verse, bringing back something from the dead, right? What can I do to get back in Scorpio's life? How to come back? How to um, get back what I lost, right? Some kind of missed opportunity. So now give me the death. We have the death coming out again in the reverse with the judgment in the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, we have a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting. The Seven of Pentacles is really like thinking about what I invested thus far and what could I have gotten out of it? What have I gotten out of it thus far, right? And what can I do better to bring forth a bigger yield? Your person's thinking about their future and they feel like something hasn't paid off. And perhaps it's because of their doing, right? Their behavior, the way they showed up. With the judge in reverse, it's obvious that they've made some poor decisions. It has resulted in a six of wands in reverse, something not being victorious. It has resulted in some kind of failure with regard to love, with regard to you. And so the death in reverse makes me feel like I want to do over, right? The judge in reverse, I made some bad decisions along the way. I was reckless. I was selfish. And now I want to have this rebirth. Something has ended. I know it was my fault. So now I can have the opportunity to bring this back. Ace of Cups is definitely telling me this could be a revival of a love opportunity. There could be healing taking place between you and a past person. For others of you guys, Scorpio, something has ended in your life and you're now taking time to heal, to recover, to put yourself in a position to attract new love opportunities. The star is definitely optimism right it's speaking about manifestation if you've been manifesting if you've been sending your intentions out with regard to love it's coming in right this new opportunity in love is coming in so you're being blessed scorpio with this beautiful opportunity ace of cups to get the love that you always wanted because you've been taking the time you've been healing you've been spending time with yourself you've been recovering you haven't lost hope and faith and that's why this ace of cups is being given to you from the universe so beautiful energy you may be dealing with an aquarius um but that is what i'm seeing scorpio 
If you enjoyed this reading, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. Have a beautiful weekend and I'll check you guys out in a few days. Take care.